Hey, one Cardi, Gun Man, bringing you another video. Today, let's talk about Power Rangers and more specifically something that's an RPG series of Power Rangers, Power Rangers Hyperforce, which is getting a pseudo sequel, which I'm not sure it's going to be the same thing, but Day of Destiny would be really great. I don't know how it would be and how great it will be, but I think it might be better than Hyperforce. Because now that d and is owned by Hasbro, same company that does d and I hope we can merge those two unofficially or officially. Only time will tell what Destiny. But anyway, let's talk about one thing about Power Rangers Hyperfort that was great. The guest stars. Basically, the main series has red, blue, yellow, pink, black, and green as the team colors for the main teams. And Hyperfort Silver being later on to be green, but that's just a plot point I don't want to spoil or explain that much. Today, let's talk about all the guest stars from, uh, uh, you know, from Hyperforce that are in order. Characters that are made up or shown in the comics won't be counted because I have not read the comics and I'm not putting them. I'm only putting Rangers from the show or with the exception of Lord Draken going to be neutral for t uh, Jason Day Frank's Evil Tommy and basically just put Evil Frank Tommy at a not counting Lord Draken just to know. But anyway, let's begin. Well, basically our first ranger we see is uh, Power Ra Pink Ranger from Time Force or Jen. I love Jen. Jen is one of my favorite rangers, female rangers of all time. In my opinion, the best female ranger, uh, pink ranger in the entire series. Just to know and great. He, and Hyperforce being a pseudo sequel to Time Force when it comes to plot. And basically, this episode's great. I love Hyperforce, uh, Time Force Pink. So, good ranger for her. Next up is not until episode 4 where we see the yellow ranger, not Trini, but Aisha. For me, I like Aisha, even if later on Yellow from Dio and Turbo were more like copying Aisha's plot points just because forgetting the some plot points of Aisha, they're both being the same shared character but different characters because when Aisha leaves, it gets replaced by another because of as time the actress didn't do Dio because he the Power Ranger scheduling was hard. Like, it was like rapid fire quick. And it still is today, but not good because back in those days, you had like 40 episodes to make part of the series. And now it's like 20, which not really good for a sub source material that has 50, uh, 48 to 52 episodes a season, a.k.a. Super Sentai. Great. So, Aisha, I kind of like, but not really a fan. Next up is RPM Gold Gem. For me, RPM Gold is actually my, I like Golander suits from that season, this adaptation. And basically, RPM Gold being with a sister would not sh would show up in uh, Ninja Steel as a cameo. So, similarity joke. <laughs> and because they're twins and they're both sharing the Sixth Ranger spot, which is kind of good. And for me, I like Jen. Gem or Gemma. For me, I pick Gemma more, but for yeah, Gemma, Gemma has more character value than Gem, which kind of sucks. But in my opinion, Gemma is our second worst. We will see our worst in a little bit, but we have one more ranger, a good ranger, before we do, and that's Tommy. Tommy's always been my favorite. Gen 1 Ranger, because really, he does a lot. He has six forms, including Lord Draken, which did debut in the series, but this was like the closest thing we have to showing up in other media before video games did it. Just to know, Lord Draken is one of the best evil ideas for evil Tommy, because really, Tommy was evil at the beginning of his run because of brainwashing in this universe. What if, if he dethroned Rita and basically that for Lord Jacket? But really, his ranger we see in the series is Dino Thunder 
black. In my opinion, the strongest of Tommy's weapons. And for me, it's definitely Tommy. So, great great ranger. So, high, high tier greatness. Good. Next up is... Oh, God, no. Do I have to do it? Yes. Uh, Orion. I don't like Orion. There's other ranger before him, after him that we see cameos of, but really, Orion is not a good ranger. Why? Because he's kind of like a terrible version of, like, he, he sucks. Guy from Gokaiger is way better, just to know, even if Parent version is a failure, in my opinion, being an alien who... Place blower getting lost and terrible. In my opinion, Orion is the worst of sixth ranger of the entire series. Not because of his badness and strength, it's just he's bland. A lot of Mega Force characters are bland. Being the only Super Mega Force character that's original, we get the rest use Ghost Ranger then Go Kaiser footage, which kind of makes him weaker and just to know not good, bad. And also, we're almost done. Now for my personal favorite ranger, coincidentally, which shows up at the same time. At, but, but first, we have Rancic. Shows up briefly in one episode of Hyperforth for a one-off thing to explain a plot twist for Black. But I don't want to spoil it here. And next up is, lastly, the Red Ranger from T Power Rangers in Space or Andros? This is my favorite Red Ranger, just to know, because Andros sacrificed Zordon, even if the only problem with that scene is we don't see Andros and Zordon get connected, even if in the series we know they have a connection more of, like, help Zordon help him, but not really expose of why or how, and it's just a clickbait plot point of just saying Zordon uh, he knows Zordon as a good guy effect, which is kind of funny, but anyhow, basically Zorda, Zordon sacrifices itself with the Z-Wave, which is basically Wave in the Uran series, and this is, this is him before he meets in space, I think, like, as a throwaway scene, but really, anyway, Andros is one of the best Red Rangers, in my opinion, and that's a good way of telling others. There's a few others, like the Red Ranger from uh, Megaforce, like, G he's there, but not really good. Marvelous is way better, even if Red of Hyperforce is a tribute to Marvelous. And and also, we're done. We, we have all the Rangers that cameo. There's other Rangers in cameoing, but I'm not counting them because they're just role-playing conversations just to know. So we're not counting those. That includes Mega Force, Super Mega Force Red, just to know. Hope you liked the video. Leave a comment down below if you like excited for Power Rangers getting another role playing series because I love role playing. I love Power Rangers above, and I'm excited and I'm just wondering if you are. Leave a comment down below for that. Just comment saying bye bye for now.